Whoa, it's more than 1,000 subscribers on my channel. It's very, very good news for me. And today I have a new video for you. And in this video, I will tell, tell you how the current control system works in the, this EDM generator and why I don't use the current limit resistors. Hello, folks. This is the first Motion Lab channel. Please watch this video, give me your likes, subscribe to keep posted. Okay, today I'm gonna use the new version of the device. Uh, now it has the water resistant box because the EDM machine works with the water or with the another liquid with a high voltage it's very very dangerous so we must be safe this is the pulse current control system shift and threshold side shift uh, buttons to adjust the duty cycle and frequency buttons to interrupt the output signal this is indicator of the average current control generator there are volts voltage indicator indicator and current indicator on the screen this of this device so let's have a look on this chart uh, when the generator is working the voltage pulses look like this uh, when the uh, EDM machine under the load the voltage pulse is getting shake like this and the current pulse is getting shaped like this but it's uh, in the uh, perfect world in the real world we will see the picture not exactly like this one uh, okay we will connect the piece of the manganese wire then we will connect the resistor with uh, 25 watts and uh, 0 0.1 ohms and after that um, connecting the oscilloscope probe we will see how the real current pulse looks under the load so while i'm trying to put together my stuff I would like to pay your attention on the QR codes on the screen. Uh, here you can donate us to support our channel, our activity, and we will try to make more research and uh, make more video for you. Thank you. Okay, um, I almost uh, finished and uh, here you can see the two wires to connect the oscilloscope probe and then we can see the uh, current shape by the way the resistance of the manganese wire is uh, 0.008 ohms okay let's have a look what we can see there second probe of the oscilloscope will connect uh, to the uh, high voltage line of the uh, EDM generator. My oscilloscope is not very fast to show you the pretty picture of the pulses, but uh, you can see that the shape of them is not the same uh, as we could see on the chart. On this picture you can see the real shape of current and voltage pulses under the load when the EDM machine works. Now we unmount the uh, manganese alloy wire and we will connect the resistor with the 25 watts and uh, 0 0.1 ohm and uh, look at the pulses with it. Please 
don't forget to subscribe on this channel and give us your like and uh, we will see with you again and again and we'll make more and more video for you thank you i would like to say a couple of words about uh, this device this generation of it uh, it gets the uh, average current control system as you can see and it gets the opta isolated systems high voltage systems and uh, control systems It's not easy to catch the uh, pulses under the load. You can see that a lot of uh, idle pulses and just one under the load. Okay, I got it. Now let's try to see what we can see on the uh, big screen. We changed the shunt and uh, we got the difference between uh, pulses with resistors and pulses with manganese wire. Uh, let's have a look carefully on it. Most important thing on this screen is the rise time of the front edge of the pulses. Because if we have long time to rise up, we have long time to heat up the wire. And uh, at least we will get the overheat and the wire will be broken. I, I hope you understand what I trying to explain you now let's have a speak how we can limit the current in our system okay let's have a look on this animation uh, it seems to me that this is a best way to explain how does the peak current control system works here we can see the ideal shape of the current pulses front edge and back edge to limit um, to limit current we have to switch off the uh, voltage when the current is too high and uh, turn voltage on when the current gets down here you can see how the current control system is watching over the uh, current level uh, we have one point where we switching off the voltage when the current level is too high and uh, switched on the voltage when the current gets down. Here you can see how can we adjust uh, the spread of this to choose uh, uh, what current of level we need to work safety. That is the operating principle of the uh, peak current control system works but it's uh, not enough to work with the wire EDM machine and uh, we need something else to understand how the system works let me draw something for you blue line is a wire red one is uh, pulses of current so when our wire machine is working, our wire is getting hot. And when we are hotted, the wire will be broken. So our aim is uh, limit the power during during uh, defined time. How can we do it? We can calculate every pulses during defined time and uh, keep it so. For this, we have to know the ability of the wire current hold. Let's try to see on this. For this experiment, I took the uh, brass wire with the 0 0.2 millimeters uh, diameter. On the EDM generator, I put the AT uh, kilohertz and um, I put the 3000 nanoseconds of pulse duration uh, voltage is uh, 100 volts and i switched it off uh, peak current control system because if it works uh, we will not be able to see the uh, maximum of viability the 
uh, wire current hold. Here we can see the package of the pulses and uh, when we uh, spread the duration we can see the start and the end of the period of time when the wire could hold the current and uh, then it was broken. So we can understand if we calculate uh, the uh, total pulse with the current and time we will be able to understand the maximum of the uh, wire can hold. On this screen we can see the period of time when our wire can uh, hold on the current. It's uh, 7.2 milliseconds. Of course, it quite depends on the wire you use, it depends on liquid you use and uh, another factors. But this is the data you can use in your code of your microprocessor. Here you can see that the uh, short current pulses is um, absolutely equal and looks quite better than we saw before. Now, I think I told you all that I wanted to do. I hope you like this video. Thank you for your watching. Have a nice day. See you soon.